Ah, Vips. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Let's turn that baby up. What's funny is I got to remember to turn it down when I listen to my music because I would blast my eardrums. But it's all good. Well, and good segue, good segue to Divergent Mind. OMG, I feel like this is going to open up a whole new realm for so many of us. So, hi, Steph. I feel I may have shared about neurodiversity before, and I know that it seemed to be like a catch phrase or catch PC uh, for a certain category of people. And with that, it's very helpful. So, I uh, was offered this book, Divergent Mind, yesterday, and I ordered it, and I'm super excited to get it. And it's this understanding that those of us who are highly sensitive people, empaths, may have ADHD, may be on the spectrum. Um, there's another, oh goodness, it's Cynthia, I think it's called, where you can like, where some of your sensory systems overlap. So it may be that you can taste colors or, you know, that type of thing. And so with that, you know, typically the most of us see colors, but sometimes people can taste them or smell them. And so that's Cynthia yeah, or something like that. So it sounds like a guardian angel. <laughs> so anyway, it really just opened me up even more in understanding because I uh, am doing a lot with my sensory system and with occupational therapy, I was a sensory processing expert. Uh, in the field. And so with that, then being able to apply that to myself and recognizing my own sensory system and also looking at myself as a highly sensitive person, an extra perceptual person, an extra sensory perceptual person. So, and so many of you, if not all of you are the exact same, like not exact same, but you also have the extra perceptual, extra sensory as well. And so I just read like the first couple pages. I think the woman's first name is Janera. And so Divergent Mind is the book. And with that, uh, my mentor had shared it with me yesterday and I just thought, whoa, there's the answers. (laughs) And with that, it's just almost like it doesn't necessarily need to be out there or supernatural, which it is supernatural because we're all supernatural with something And at the same time, it doesn't need to be a mystery, if that makes sense. I know that a lot of us are looking for answers or looking to cultivate our gifts or that type of thing. And that's why I feel like I really want to, and I really feel my life purpose is to anchor things, anchor spirituality into science because spirituality and intuition is in our brain. (laughs) Like it is out there and we are part of the cosmos and we are part of all other dimensions. And at the same time, we're human experiencing it. And with being that human experiencing it, there's got to be something inside us that allows for this to be. And so being able to really conceptualize and reconceptualize our gifts through this lens could be really helpful and very grounding. And another kind of caveat, or I wanted to say tangent, but I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to judge it. Oh, Blue Jays. There was a blue jay that visited me every morning in Sedona. And so with that, looking at um, those of us who are different and quote unquote, uh, right? And the advocacy for human rights uh, right down the line, you know, with race, with uh, neurodivergence, with, uh, you know, LGBTQ, LGBTQ, and transgendered, and recognizing the different genders, recognizing the different ways of being able to be in intimate relationships. And I feel like, what makes me want to cry? Like, I'm so happy for that, and I'm so happy to be able to move more into inclusivity um, and helping with that. And I feel like that's on my heart because I keep thinking back to a program I did in college called Boxes and Walls. This was like, I think I was 20 or so. And so it looked like, it looked at all different, um, you know, like let's say diversity. And I just, 
I think I'm kind of taken aback right now because I have a lot of gratitude for the rights of people that, you know, people being able to marry who they need to marry, who they want to marry, who they desire to marry. Um, people with disabilities, that's a huge um, advocacy platform for me, you know, um, making sure things are accessible, et cetera, uh, making sure we make the proper accommodations. And I was talking to Dave last night, and I was like, what about us? <laughs> Who's going to give us the proper accommodations, right? And so I don't want to say necessarily that we're like the last ones, but at the same time, um, those of us who are extra sensory, those of us who are mediums, those of us who um, are able to look into the future, we have been deemed and, you know, it's like blasphemy and, you know, that type of thing. And I think these other um, categories have as well, but they're getting so much more. And I'm so excited for our people to be able to get recognition and inclusivity. And it really made me think like, I'm freaking human, right? I, I'm doing the best I can and I'm walking in life being a medium and people are eyeing me, right? She's different. Uh, I just remember getting a video at one point of a very well-meaning person from, uh, from a, a faith that did not believe in mediumship. And I just heard like, don't open those videos. Don't open those videos she sent me. But basically saying I was going to hell and basically saying that I should be dead. And so I've done a lot of work around that. And I thought, wow, how is that any different than um, all of the people that have been ostracized for being who they are, who thankfully are now getting advocacy, human rights, that type of thing. And I kind of feel like we're the next wave, right? Hey, like just highly sensitive person talking to some spirits, no big day. And I feel like with that, it's almost just like, stand strong, throw your shoulders back, be who you are, be neurodivergent, be divergent, be, be a medium, be an empath, be a telepathic. We're not going to change. Like there's nothing we can do other than shutting ourselves down that would then help us to like, quote unquote, fit in. Right. So it's okay to be different. And I feel like with that, the more that we can bring this forward with then allows for us to be able to be that advocate for us, right? Boom, boom, pow, gotta get good. So excited to see those of you who can make it this evening uh, at five, I believe. What do we have this evening? We have clearing and manifestation. Oh, I love it. I like it. I love it. I want more of it. Okay, excited to see everybody. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.